In today's video, I'm going to be opening up this massive tower of mail from you guys and also a piece of mail with packs for an epic battle against. Watch to find out. What's up guys, Ruxin34 back with another epic mail video. You guys saw the intro. We have a tower of mail. You can't see it anymore because there's not enough room here. Oh. So we're just going to have to take it one at a time. Well, let's get into this mail day. It's going to be pretty insane. I also teased that we're going to be announcing a pack battle with one of the most epic Yuki tubers. You guys will know him, but we're going to save that for later in the video. Let's start with the mail. So, okay, we don't want to show anybody's address, so we're going to rip this open like this. We got this. And we got, okay, here is a note from, hey there Ruxin, OBX Yu-Gi-Oh here. First of all, I wanted to say your channel is amazing. Out of all the YouTubers, you have the most interesting and consistent content right after we take a day off yesterday. Yep. <laughs> Every week you have an opening that is a must see. Speaking of that, tomorrow we're doing another 2003-10. I'm pushing it ahead. So we'll talk a little bit more about that later. My personal favorite, seeing the Legacy and Champion Pack openings Legacy tomorrow. Watching your videos inspired me to start up my own channel, OBX Yu-Gi-Oh! Check them out, guys. I want to provide the best content possible, like yourself. You do things, thank you very much. You do things such as seeing what people like, putting the time in for well-edited videos, and giving back to your audience with giveaways. You've also inspired me to start doing giveaways on my Instagram, OBX Yu-Gi-Oh! Go follow them over there. In this package, I have sent you the three legendary dragon dice for your next giveaway. Perfect. Perfect. The three legacy dragon dice are in this giveaway. Like the video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite mail from this video. Also, after seeing how lucky you've been with the Genzos, I've included a very rare surprise for you, for yourself to keep. Thank you for everything you do, and I would deeply appreciate it if you could give me a shout out. There you go. Shouted him out. We read the whole thing. Okay. What did he send us? And I kind of have an idea based on this, but I'm, I'm going to cut it open first. OBX Yu Gi Oh sent us a Genzo figure okay what is this from okay china all right we have genzo okay let's check him out a mini genzo this is incredible this is gonna be great i'm gonna set i'm gonna set this back you guys are not gonna be able to see it but i'm gonna set it back here like after the video for now we're obviously gonna put it in the camera view but it's gonna be up here on my setup it's gonna be pretty cool so thanks for that awesome genzo character that's really cool make sure you guys go check him out on youtube or on instagram and the giveaway, the dice that he sent us. All right, next package is from at It's Ya Hot Boy. Wow. It's Ya Hot Boy. All right, so if you guys want to check him out, go ahead. All right, this is a very small bubble mailer, so I don't want to cut anything, including myself. He sent us, oh yeah, check this out. Okay, this is some crazy sleeves in here. Shinado, King of the Higher Plane from a Dark Crisis reprint pack. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. He saw... He saw me trying to, when was it? Was it trying to pull one or something, a Dark Crisis? And he he said he pulled one and decided he wanted to send it to me, which is super cool. By the way, yeah, I'm going to trigger some of you guys and put this in a penny sleeve. Shinado, King of the Higher Plane. So thank you. Wait, where's the name? It's your, bo it's your hot boy. Yeah, Instagram, check him out over there. That's really awesome. So that's pretty cool. Also, we get a top loader. <laughs> Next package. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got in here. We, oh my goodness. We have, oh wow, this is going to be cool. The, we have card sleeves. That's cool. We have more card sleeves. I guess he heard that I ran out of card sleeves. He hooked us up, even though I did buy 10,000 the other day, but I will still use those. They will definitely be used soon, so that's pretty cool. This is from Nam's Cards. Check him out. Okay, is there a social media? I mean, let's see. Noms Cards. I guess find us on Facebook. Okay. Referrals help. Okay. Make sure you check out Noms Cards on Facebook. There is more to what he sent. Oh, here we go. Here's the note. <laughs> A little birdie told me you ran out of the penny sleeves. Yes, I did. I did run out. Oh, that's the whole note. It's the attic CTC. So that's the whole note. <laughs> okay, cool. And he also sent, not only did he send card sleeves, but he sent us some booster packs. Rise of Destiny First Edition. We've got Duelist Pack Yugi. The Lost Millennium. Flames of Destruction First Edition. Cool. And Order of Chaos. So we're about to have a little pack opening here, guys. This is going to be pretty exciting. 
Rise of Destiny is cool. I really needed a Koichi. I need some more Koichis. I only have one for my goat stuff. So if we could pull, that'd be crazy. Let's go ahead and start off with the classic Duelist Pack Yugi. If this was first edition, that'd be kind of crazy. But those are actually kind of hard to find now. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can pull a Dark Paladin, Buster Blade, Black Luster Soldier. Let's try Order of Chaos. Wait, did I? Oh, Flame Destruction. Okay. Order of Chaos, there's three. All right, there's three of each pack, it looks like. So we have 15 booster packs. This is going to be a pretty cool opening right here. Thank, thank you, The Attic, or Noms Cards, whichever one you want to be called. Sweet Corn, Earth Armor, Over Capacity, and Zector Hornet. There is a super rare Zector Hornet from Orcs. And yes, we do have Penny Sleeves, so we can sleeve it up. We also have 500 more, which is very awesome of him. Let's send those in. Tom Lee. Okay, Flames of Destruction. We could pull the Impermanence. We pulled an evenly matched the other day. So we can pull powerful trap cards. We did it the other day. Let's continue it. Make sure you guys check out that video where we opened up all the mystery box contents. That was pretty cool. We had some great pulls. Let's see if we can do the impermanence. Nope. Wait, I thought it was a guaranteed super. Oh, I passed it. Wind up Zen maintenance. Okay. I was getting so excited and then I just, uh, you know, passed it. Ooh, what do we have left? Rise. Of, let's save Rise of Destiny for the end, which is hilarious because that used to be such a bad set. And now I'm like excited about it. The Lost Millennium. Ultimate rares can be pulled. Also, elemental heroes. Here we go. Hita the fire charm. Wait, didn't Hita get... Isn't that getting a prismatic in the next main set? I think it is. Clay man, nice. Eerie of the water. Look at all the charmers. Cryo Sphinx, okay. And win. We got triple charmer in one pack. Triple charmer and one elemental hero. That's actually a really cool pack. I'm going to pull those aside, actually. Sweet pack. Rise of Destiny is next. Ne next next you can pull Dakoichi, the battle enchanted locomotive i believe is the name ultimate rare or rare either one would be good i think the rare is worth like eight bucks or something which is really good espionage element magician oh i think we got some harvey Sunning ground oh no we didn't it was darker still though necklace of command and bukoichi the frightening card not Dakoichi, but bukoichi let's try duelist pack yuki can we pull some fire? Dark Paladin. Polymerization the alt art. This is one of the best cards in the set, actually. Because people really like this art. I mean, it's super cool. Yes, that is awesome. That's a good pull. Wow, this is fun. I love when you guys send packs. It's just, it's just great. I love everything you guys send, by the way. Not just packs. I'm just saying. I really enjoy packs. It's fun. Obviously, my whole channel <laughs> revolves around opening packs. Yeah, but you knew that. Dark flat top. XYZ burst. Okay. No foil. Let's make sure. Trance Archfiend. I remember I grinded uh, Bakura the on the gate or whatever to get the third copy of this for some deck. I don't remember. I literally played him for like three, four months and I couldn't get it. I finally did get it, I think. It was torture. It was awful. And I didn't have a ticket to like buy it or whatever. It was so bad. Duel Links was horrible sometimes. Watch Cat. Ooh, Network Trap Hole. That's an ultra rare. Oh, man. That trap card being a foil, really. I was like, what? No, no, no impermanence. Permanence is like 80 bucks first edition, so that would be huge. Or maybe even more. Okay, what do we have? We have Lost Millennium next. Last time we pulled three Charmers in one pack. Let's see what we can do here. And there is already an Elemental Hero Spark Man. Rock Bombardment. Pikachu's Second Sight. Death Wombat. Hero Signal, it's another hero. Dummy Gold, Lost Guardian, and Asa, the Earth Charmer. So we're getting all kinds of charmers and heroes in these packs. Very cool. Next pack, Rise of Destiny. Can we get Dekoichi? Can we get an ultimate? A rare? Either one. I will be happy. I will be happy with either. Just do it. Hom homunculus. There it is. There's a Attack on Titan. Spell Purification. Ultimate Insect level 3. Fruits of Kazakis and Harvey Lady 1 and 3 and Bokoichi again at the end. Okay, five more packs here until we move on to the next mail item. This might be a long video because we've got a few more things to open. Big Show Gardener, Green Gadget, Yellow Gadget, okay, Jack's Knight, and Marshmallow. So no foils in that. And the Duelist Pack Yugi, that's alright. Order of Chaos, here we go. The Chaos will ensue right now. Divine Dragon, Photon Crusher. Good guy guard. Trevil. Yeah, I give up. Alright. Long name. Flames of Destruction. 
Impermanence. Last time we had three packs of whatever that says. Circuit Break, the last pack, had a powerful trap. Can the last pack here have a trick star? Rododd. <laughs> All right, not in there. That's okay. Finally, two packs. These are old packs. 2006 is when Lost Millennium came out, I believe. Unless it was late 2005. I think it was 2006. Could be wrong, though. Might have been late 2005, now that I'm thinking about it. Gift of the Martyr. Oh, they're a little bit dinged. Elm's or Clay, man. Okay. Final Ritual of the Ancients. Hero Signal again. King of the Skull Servants. It might be okay. White Ninja. Alright. Cool stuff. Rise of Destiny. Last pack from Nam's Cards. Thanks for sending us those. That's pretty awesome. It's been fun. It's been fun to open some packs. Because I wasn't expecting to. Oh, here we go. We've got a Harpy Girl. Wait, is this... Oh, this is the uncensored one. This is the uncensored one. That one might be worth like 50 cents instead of 10 cents. Cool. Raging Flame Sprite. Ultimate Insect Level 3. Man, the Incredio Incarnate. Okay. So that was pretty cool. We got some decent stuff out of there. Okay, focus, focus, focus. It's still not focus. There we go. All right, we got some cool stuff out of there. Some, some Charmers. That Lost Millennium Pack's had some nice stuff in it. All right, let's move on to the next mail. All right, let's go ahead and open this thing up. We have this box. All right, we have a blank letter here. What's up, Ruxin? Been a fan sub to you. Oh my God, I opened this thing. <laughs> sub to your channel since this March, around the time the Crush Card virus was in full effect. Yeah, ugh, rough times. I randomly found your channel by looking up vintage Yu-Gi-Oh box openings where I stumbled upon your Shadows Infinity hobby box opening. Yeah, that video got really big when the LOB video got really big because it was around that time. And it, and it got a lot of views. Ever since then, I've been hooked. I just wanted to show my appreciation and cr congratulate you on your progress. 20, zero, one, slash, K subs. Yeah. I don't know what we're at. We're almost at 24,000 at this point, which is insane. We're about to have the 25K special already. Keep up the good work and don't sniff packs. Okay. Then we have, what is this? Rush Duel. Okay. I've never opened a Rush Duel pack. That's exciting. Oh, yeah. Oh no, mystery pack. We have more Armageddon. If we pull like a 10K out of this, I'm gonna feel kind of bad almost. I'm like nervous about this, to be honest. We're gonna start opening and then we're gonna open up his mystery here. So first let's open the mystery the mystery pack. See what it is. Oh, we got something cool. We got Invasion of Chaos. Here we go. That came, also came with the Binary Sorceress, so there's that. All right, Invasion of Chaos. We're going to have to... Oops, that was not in the blister. All right, we're going to have to save that one for after the Battles of Legend. Let's go ahead and crack open these blisters real quick. I'll do this, and then I'll skip. All right, we have the five Battles of Legend packs. Let's see if we can pull something crazy. I mean, even if we pull, like, a uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon out of this, it'd be pretty crazy with only five packs. Oh, it's on the front. I'm used to the Euro packs. All right, Skullbone. There's an O-Lion, but, uh, yeah, he got banned, so rip. <laughs> so, okay, first pack. All right, we got to remember to flip around that card in the back. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can get here. Get something crazy. Armored White Bear. All right, all right. I've seen a few Armored White Bears in my day. By the way, I opened like 32 boxes of this set, if you guys didn't know that, if you're new to the channel. We opened a lot of this set. Dark Spell Regeneration. Alonzo, did you send us fire? I, I kind of would feel bad if you sent us fire. I would, I would be happy. I'm not gonna lie, but I would be like, oh my goodness, Skull King. I thought we got a knight. Okay, we got a Numeron Wall. That's not too bad. That's a decent card. All right, Final Battles of the Legend. We also have the Invasion of Chaos and the Rush Duel pack. So I'm really excited about that Rush Duel pack. Here we go. Oh, and Jelly. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good card. I will take that. Alonzo, hooking us up. All right, let's go Invasion of Chaos before we do Rush Duel. I think Rustle is going to be pretty cool. Here we go. Spatial Collapse. Lord Poison. Oh, man. Chopman the Desperate Outlaw. Come on. Give us something good. Berserk Gorilla. Multiplication Advance. And Gale Lizard. All right. Nothing out of Invasion Chaos. That's okay. We have Rush Duel. This will save us. Oh, we have two Rush Duel packs. Two Rush Duel packs. Also, we get to test our ability to open these OCG packs. Or is it? Wait, it is OCG, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is OCG. This is not Korean. Somebody told me, yeah, Korean is, has a loopy writing with like zeros or like O's in it, like big circles. Yeah, 
while Japanese does not. That's how you, they told me to tell the difference. It actually kind of works. Oh, check these cards out. These don't even look like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This is cool. What in the world am I looking at? Oh, look! We got the Harpy Girl again. That's crazy. We pulled that earlier. That looks like Luke on Hoth. And we got a rare. We got a... Uh, what's this guy called? The Insect something? Parrot? I can't remember. All right, first pack, we got a rare. Next pack, can we have luck? I don't know what you can pull out of here. Can you pull blue eyes out of here? That that sweet blue eyes? The new one? That would be pretty crazy. Pull that out of two packs. Oh, we have a fish. We have my mystical, is that mystical elf? What happened to you, mystical elf? I don't know what that is. That guy's on a thing. Wait. Do we get something here? I don't think so. I think it's just a rare. Okay. Cool. Well, that's cool. That's cool. I don't know what the foils look like, so I would be interested to see one. But Alonzo, that was clutch. All right, finally, let's get into his special cards. What could they be? I'm assuming they're special. I mean, they're in their own top loader. Could they be powerful? Could they be legendary cards? That is the question. What could be inside? Put your guesses in the comments if you have a guess about what these cards are. Uh-oh. I see effect monster. You know what I think when I see effect monster. Okay, wait, let's do it like this. Oh, man. <sighs> the worst card in existence. Yellow Dustin. Putrid. Pudding. Body buddy. Creepy Coney, why do you torture me like this? But no. That guy's like even creepier than Creepy Coney. Up. This is the trolliest thing I've ever seen. Updraft. Kunai with chain. What is this? What is this? The legendary cards have been sent. Madolce Chocolates. Oh, this one's first edition. Kenyo Moss Unlimited. So I think the Madolce Chocolates might take the uh, take the cake here. Let me know in the comments. Are you Team Pequeño Moth or Team Chocolates? Because obviously I'm Chocolates. 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 I think Pequeño Moth needs its own song. I don't know. I might have to be brainstorming that. Because then it, it might pull it even with the Chocolates. We have a, a clutch song. So thank you, Alonzo, for these epic cards. And the evil pack at the end with the creepy Coney. I never want to see that again. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. All right, this is extremely heavy. What is this? Sell, giveaway to viewers. Most unlimited hollows are original print. Hope you can sell most of it to buy more epic packs to open. All of them non-played. Best regards, Eric. Congrats on 20K. Thank you, open for fan mail. Okay, this is fan mail. We're in the right place, everybody. We're here, we're on fan mail. Okay, he sent us stuff to sell or give away. And then he said sell it to make more money for packs. So. I don't really know if I'm supposed to sell it or give it away, but we're going to look. We're going to look and see. Let's see what Eric sent us. Oh my goodness. This is why this is so heavy. Eric sent us a tin of old school goodies. Wow. Talk about awesome. Okay. Eric hooked us up. Whoa. Whoa. Left arm. Oh my goodness. Whoa. This is a lot of stuff. First edition? Bruh, did you really just send a Black Luster Soldier? Are you kidding me? Is that a reprint? This might be a 2010 reprint. I think it is. A tw 2010. Not, not, tw not a 10 like the 10 he sent it in. But Oh my goodness. We opened Invasion of Chaos today. And we also... Got a Black Luster Soldier in the mail. Wow. Black Luster Soldier? Oh my goodness. This is crazy. This is not what I thought this was. Alright then, let's uh, let's keep going through all this good stuff. Oh, Magic Cylinder Secret Rare? Dude, Eric. This is like a lot of stuff. This is like a lot of stuff. Like this is a crazy amount of stuff. Okay, that is a lot of TP5 commons, MRL. Invader of Darkness, that's a reprint secret rare. That's cool. 
Phenomenaga, the deity of poisonous snakes? Dude, this card is awesome. Oh my, wow, this is like, are you sure you want to give all this away, Eric? You actually want me to get this stuff. Like, this is like actually like worth a decent amount. I mean, that phenomenon is like 50, 60, 70 bucks, I think. Maybe even more. Cosmo Dark Eclipse. I don't think I've ever seen that card. Looks like there's a bunch of cards in there. Spear Cretan, that's some MRL cards. It's cool. Crush card. Huh. <laughs> Shonen Jump. He said, if I would literally pass out if there was a Shonen Jump Crush card in here. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I used to play uh, won a tournament one time. It's like, what? <laughs> Okay, there's a bunch of commons in there. That's cool. Wow. Got more commons. TP5. Oh, cool. A Chaos Emperor Dragon. That's a 20th anniversary pack. Oh, Trihorn Secret Rare. Trihorn from Legendary Collection Yugi. Another Trihorn. That's... Is that a reverse? That's a reverse foil. Oh, my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. I can actually freaking recognize reverse. I used to... What? Two rares. Two rarest cards. I have an idea of what these are going to be. <laughs> I, knew, I knew it. We got a playset plus one of the legendary Pequeno Moth. English version. You know, it's not not quite the Pequeno, but it is petite. So that's pretty cool. We got the legendary Pequeno Moth. <laughs> I knew I saw this. Two rarest cards, what that was going to be. Okay. We still have a lot of cards left to go through here. Oh my goodness. Allure of Darkness. Serpent Knight Dragon. Are you kidding me? Backup Soldier, Magical Hats, Honest, that's cool. Oh, that's a Pharaoh Servant Euro. I was like, this card looks weird. What's going on with this? Another Euro, Goblin Attack Force. Okay, cool. There's some newer stuff. We got Zero the Mant. Here's some more commons. You know what would be nice is if there was a Decoichi in here. <laughs> I do not have enough Decoichis. I'm just saying that. Just not trying to say you guys should send me to Koichi's, but I definitely only have one. The only reason I have one is because it got returned to me. <laughs> I didn't have one before. He, he was Zanru. I used to have so much trouble saying that. Pro okay, Prohibition's actually like a super valuable card. Like three dollars. Okay, super valuable three dollars. I know, I know, but it's worth something. You know, three bucks is a good amount. Wait, is this Euro too? Yeah, it's a Euro card. So I don't know if that one will be as valuable here in the United States. Utah's of the Zapper. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. This might be a long video going through all this stuff. Genzo Lord. Deep Sea Diva. That used to be worth a lot more until the reprint in OTS 14. Yeah, this is going to be a long video. Pot of Desire is a nice card. Wow, this is like... It's like a collection purchase, but, but <laughs> y'all just sent it to me. Eric just sent me this just for nothing he's like yeah just go ahead and sell all of it or whatever i assume he, would he mind if i kept the black lizard soldier i don't know he can let me know in the comments eric i'm allowed to uh if i to keep that either way i appreciate it either i mean if i sell it you know that, that's very helpful to the channel obviously okay utopia <laughs> oh dark hole gold that's actually cool i haven't seen that mega morph cool there's a lot of original stuff. I remember him messaging me and saying he was going to do this. And I like kind of forgot about it because, you know, a lot of people will say they're going to send you something and it's like really epic and just kind of like, eh, will they, you know? And then once it gets there, they're like, okay. Some people, it never gets there. And then people like Eric, it gets there and you're like, wow, this dude was legit. He sent some really cool stuff. Okay, here's some more... Uh, some more stuff, some more comments. Actually, those are super rares. Oh, we've got um, top loaders here. Oh gosh, you gotta be careful with the sound here. Oh, first edition, MRL. Cool, seven tools of the bandit. Magic jammer, creature swap. Dark necrofear, oh, that's cool. Imperial order, nice. That's a, that card's so powerful in DCR format. Oh, an ultimate rare dark city? Thought ruler archery, the first edition of, version of this is crazy. Fiber jar first dead. Mischief of the Yokai, that's pretty cool as well. Man, this this is a loaded, loaded. That's by the way, I haven't even announced the uh, the, the battle that's coming up. That's the, that's the last thing after this. Oh my goodness! And the final stack from Eric he hooked us up big time. This is awesome. Wow. Okay. 
Wow. Infinite cards. Okay. That's cool. Magician of Faith. Cool. Say again. Nice. Bunch of MRD. So that was awesome, Eric. You're the man. That was sweet. That was so much stuff. By the way, if you decide you want those back, just let me know because this was kind of a lot of cards. And I, you know, if you still want them or something, you have giver's remorse. You, you decide you want it back, just let me know and I can send you these back. But thanks again. These are incredible, dude. They're incredible. Okay. Final item for this video. I'm going to be opening up in a future video. Let's just, let's just grab some of these. Rise of Destiny. We're gonna get that Dekoichi. Oh my first edition Legacy of Darkness. One, two, three. Three first edition Legacy of Darkness. One, two, three, four, five unlimited. Then we have unlimited one, two, three, four, five. Oh come on. <laughs> it's stuck together. Six. Oh, these are stuck together. Oh, right, we gotta be careful. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten tactical evolution packs. That's one stack. The other stack has. Pharaoh's Servant, one, two, three, four, five unlimited, one, two, three, four, five unlimited Labyrinth of Nightmare. Then we have one, two, three, four, five Magic Ruler, and one, two, three, four, five Pharaonic Guardian. An insane pack opening. This is all going to be in one video, by the way, I, I believe. November 9th, we will be battling Team Samurai X1 with all of these packs. He got the same packs, I think. So, November 9th, we're going to be opening up all these packs on my channel, all of the same packs on his channel, so make sure you guys get hyped for that. It's going to be crazy. I'm sure he's going to be sniffing some packs, so it's going to be awesome. I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to do that video. I think this opening is going to be extremely exciting. So, all these packs will be open. Yes, you guys see all these packs. Crazy. Pharaoh's Servant, Rise of Destiny, you know, all this stuff. It's going to be good. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. All the crazy viewer mail. Thanks to everyone who sent something. This was awesome. We got so much cool stuff. So I appreciate all you guys watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another 2003 tin to be revealed. I'm not going to tell you which one it's going to be. But it's going to be awesome. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! <laughs> <laughs>